This is a Gee cylindrical minnow trap. And I got this about 25 years ago. You can still find the same model today. And it has been through everything. The floods, my childhood, the durability is definitely there. Now what you're seeing right now is the trap in its nested storage form. And it's made up of two baskets. You go ahead and pull that apart and invert them. You look on the interior rim, you're going to find a hoop and a hook portion. And on the opposite side, you should find its counterpart, another hook and hoop. And you're simply going to feed that hook into the hoop, both sides, and that should make a very simple hinge. Works really well. Flipping it around on the opposite side, I'm going to find two pieces of raised metal. And those are going to line up to be able to close this trap up. I'm going to use a standard crawfish clip, feeding it through these two hoops, locking it together. Just like that. Now the trap is made out of galvanized steel, about quarter inch mesh. It is 16 inches long in the center, diameter is 9 inches, on the outsides, diameter is about 7, 7.5. You have two entrances, they're 1 inch entrances, and after that, the trap's just really simple. I'm going to go ahead and set this now, and uh, you don't have to open it up again to set it. I usually just take some dog food, and it can go ahead and go through the entrance. About a quarter cup usually works. And all you are lacking now is an appropriate place to put your trap. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Rope's on, stake to the ground. It's never failed before, so we'll come back in a couple hours and check it. But there's my old tried and true trap.